shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. It's that time again. Time to re-up my essential oil remedies, starting with bath salts. You've seen me make them before. Here are some of the oils that I like to use. I like to use various Epsom salt scents too. It's super simple. You just layer the drops of oil between the layers of the salts. I'm also gonna make Febreze using that formula. And then you can do the yoga spray like this, the linen spray like that, and that's pretty much how you also do air freshener. So I just keep the old bottles. This is the old Febreze bottle. I already had the filtered water in there. I did witch hazel and vinegar in this. And the lavender's already in, and now I'll add the orange, basil, and peppermint. This one, I want it to be lemony. This is just the original bottle for my air freshener from Trader Joe's I bought. I'm gonna add, lavender's already in. I'm gonna add purification lemongrass and lemon. And this is the lavender plus, lavender's already in there. By the way, witch hazel's already in both of these as well. No vinegar. And I'm also gonna do tea tree and cedar wood in that one. So pretty simple. I am going to make what some call internal scarring remedy and what I call boob rub. Uh oh, it dripped down a little. So the base for this is castor oil, which is already in, and a little bit of grapeseed oil, vitamin E, whatever like nourishing oil you might have. And you can read the, all of this at your leisure, but this explains how and why castor oil helps with scarring. Um, I had a double mastectomy with reconstruction and I do have encapsulation and scar tissue. So we're gonna gather up as many as these oils that we have and put them into the remedy and then you just massage it on. And it's pretty instantaneous how it loosens it up. It's pretty crazy. So we'll go through our oils here. This is oils that can be ingested. I keep them in a separate uh, carrier and these are ones that cannot be ingested and I don't have every single one of these but you just get the ones that you have oh and even here it talks about it increases circulation to the breast um, see here they have olive oil or I've used vitamin E grapeseed oil it also helps as the carrier oh and the immune system from the aroma as well so it's a win-win. Let me gather this up and get it in the boob rub. And then I have to make Bobby's bug remedy. Those two are the priorities today. And then all the rest of the pile there that needs to be done. And then also the poopery that's in the kitchen because that involves dish soap and alcohol and things that I don't keep in my room where I usually just get these trays and sit on my bed and have at it. Here's all the ones we have. Citrus, carrot seed, lemon, lavender, clary sage, rosemary, tea tree, marjoram. The only thing I did not have was juniper and helichrysum. I thought I had juniper, which is so weird. Let me look again. Oh, my dog's trying to get in. Better let her in. All right, I'm going to put... I guess I'm going to put 10 drops each of this. Oh, and there's a reason I don't fill this to the top because I can only use this so quick. And all the although the essential oils don't spoil, the carrier oils can age. So I only want to make as much as I can use in that duration. So I did make an adjustment for some of the hotter oils like uh, rosemary. I only did five drops and some of the lighter uh Gentler oils I'll just use for lack of a better word, like lavender, I would do, t I did 10. So it's all in there, I shook it up, it smells great, ready to go. All right, now for the bug remedy. By the way, since I don't do a lot of essential oil,
content because people don't really love it, but I think it's important enough to show people the alternatives to Big Pharma. And I'll just leave that there. But I have this binder. When I find the remedies at work, I just put them in here. So the bug repellent, um, I'm just going to use the grapeseed oil instead of what it has here in this particular example. But use the oils you got. I'm going to put every single one of these oils in. I have them all. Um, you can also use Purification, Thieves, and Digize if to supplement. But I'm just going to stick to these main ones. So I have all of those oils here. And once again, I'm going to probably do five drops of the light oil and maybe three drops of the hotter oils. And then his has a built-in rollerball thing um, that I bought that you can just put on these bottles. And this helps him so much at work because he works outdoors. So let's get this one done. Good night's right next to it. And here's all the oils I get to play with. And you have to put a carrier oil in, of course, and I'm just using grapeseed in this situation. I'm gonna do the calming formula now. Bobby had a good idea to use this trick where I set these in here so they don't spill. And here's all the oils that go in the calming formula. I bought this one time and then I just replicate the formula now. I'm gonna make purse perfume. I actually made up this blend and I keep it in my purse. And here's all the oils it takes to do that one. You'll notice that lavender is in all the different formulas. It's included in almost all of them. It's cool to see the separation of the oils with the carrier oil sometimes. Then you mix it up and it all blends together. I'm gonna do a morning mood concoction now. Grapefruit, orange, tangerine, oregano, thyme. I don't have winter savory, so I'm gonna do a little bit of winter green. When you see these type of lids, you know that's a hot oil. So maybe one drop. And even here, like this thyme. See what it's done to the cap? It's probably a hotter oil, so less of it. So that's what's gonna go into the morning mood. Rollerball. I'm gonna do this AFT protocol. It's actually a therapy that I've done, but I'm gonna do it in rollerball form. And here's all the stuff you need to make that. And I'm gonna do it in a smaller size. And I even just did a mini of the chill, the chill formula. All right, they're all done. And I like to take just regular scotch tape at the end and just go over where I made the labeling so it doesn't rub off as easily. It's essential oil time again. I'm making my poopery. I already put in the vodka, which I never drink, but this bottle's been in the freezer for years and I use it for poopery. I've already added five drops of grapefruit, five lavender, five lemon, five bergamot, five orange, two tablespoons of the so dish soap and two tablespoons of vodka. Any vodka will do. And one cup of filtered water. You get it all in there and then you whisk it up. And then I just refill the original poopery uh, spray bottles and anything extra I just put in a mason jar in the fridge. So now we're going to do eye moisturizer, which the oils going in that are lavender, rosemary, and cypress. I'm gonna go ahead and do a base of this just plain um, vitamin C eye cream and then add some castor oil, which is great for under eye. And I just refill this little container and mix it up. And there's, oopsie, <laughs> my eye cream. I love nature and all it has to offer. If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just speak love and watch the smiles come. Thanks for watching. Bring my spirits up. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed.